Hello, welcome to this tip of the day for Factory Utilities 2018. I'm just here to make sure today that you're using all of the factory tools or one of the factory tools that's available that might not be immediately obvious. And we're specifically looking at placing components into this layout that have not been published as factory assets. So that means they don't have an AutoCAD block underneath them. Maybe we don't need to see them in AutoCAD for some reason and we just want the flexibility and the speed, really, of placing these components as normal inventor assemblies directly into this factory layout. So you might be tempted to use your familiar traditional assemble place command because that's how we get components in an assembly, right? But if I hit place component here and pick our office desk, um, it will place the component in here. I get the usual right-click options, but if I drop this desk into the assembly and, and hit escape, then, oh dear, it has not gone in on the floor of the layout. And why would it? This, is, this place command does not know anything about the fact we're in a factory layout at the moment. So, you shouldn't be using that command for non-factory assets. What we should be doing is finding this sneaky hidden command in the factory tab. These days it's under the layout panel and it's called insert model. If I pick this, this is a much better way of doing it. If I select the same desk, double click on it, now you see it's a factory native command. So not only is it snapping to the floor, which we'll see in a minute, but I can also snap to other stuff. So I can snap to the grid. You see I can snap to the grid points. I can snap to surfaces, I can snap to all kinds of things in my model uh, conven to conveniently position this. So let's see if I just snap to there, to that surface here, let's see if I can actually snap to it. And then we get uh, the ability to reposition, or sorry, to reorient it by its bounding block. Okay, this is without publishing it in any way, shape or form, and I'll say OK to that. And this model is now on the floor, which is good but I can also have the reposition command started up and say, position it, say 900 millimeters away from that edge and right click and say done. And that's a very quick and efficient way of bringing non-factory uh, asset published models uh, into, into your layouts. Hope you enjoy this tip. Thanks a lot.